Okay, so this video is going to be a progress update on the Solon 125s. I'm testing the solar charge controller thoroughly with these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. And you know, I've got this one to compare it to. This is the charge controller I used on my electric kids car conversions. So that's kind of a baseline to compare against. In doing that testing, I went ahead and ordered a solar charge controller designed for lithium iron phosphate batteries. And I'm gonna test that against these ones and I'm gonna choose the one that gives the best uh, performance for the best price because I really want want the end price on this to be affordable and make this available to as many people as possible. So I didn't want to rush this. I thought I would get this up on the uh, Tesla Maker store by now, but rather than rushing it, I'm doing my testing on the solar charge controller. Over here we got a lot of the inventory coming in. We got a lot of these uh, semi-flexible 25 watt uh, panels here and it's amazing how many watts you can fit in a tight area when they're this thin folks I mean these are sweet little panels so these are actually already at the Tesla maker website these are the machined corners for do-it-yourselfers that want to build you know different size systems uh, you could actually build a system for a hundred watt panel use, utilizing this and I want to do that in the future so yeah, we're getting inventory, getting the PVC pipe in. It's, it's all coming together, folks. Just wanted to uh, share that update and uh, share the progress report on this. And I've got one other project I really want to share with you all. And no, it is not this little mini easy spin motor, although that's really cool, but I think this is even more amazing than that. Inside of here, I have something that a lot of people have been asking for. This right here is the Solon One 8. This is an eight watt semi-flexible solar panel. It will come with two of these uh, LED light bulbs for camping, for reading, setting up in your campsite, as well as a lot of other cool features. So let me set my camera on a tripod and I will go over the features of this Solon 1.8. Okay, so what I've got here is the Solon 1.8 set up and running all of these devices off the USB ports. This particular power bank has four USB ports. So I'm charging my iPhone, I'm charging my iPad, and I'm running two of the LED light bulbs. Now obviously this is like a max usage load configuration, but the fact that it's capable of doing this uh, really impresses me. I'll go over uh, some of the features of this particular USB power bank. I tested a ton of USB power banks before I came up with this particular one. So let me uh, go over some of the, the specifications on this. There'll be an actual product video over at teslamaker.com and on my teslamaker YouTube channel going over the complete specifications. This video isn't really to do that, it's more to just give the unveiling, show the first preview of it. But yeah, let's go over the uh, specifications here one by one. We've got this carabiner, so you can hook this up on uh, camping equipment, backpacks, whatever. The panel is semi-flexible, very lightweight. It's eight watts, so this is an eight watt panel. This battery bank back here is a 15,600 milliamp hour battery pack. But this power bank has some unique features. It's made by Lime Fuel. You may have saw them when they were on Kickstarter, but they create just an incredible power bank here. Not only is it capable of powering all of this stuff, it can charge at two amps. It can deliver you know, up to 2.1 amps on the load side, and it just has a lot of cool features. So let me get this stuff disconnected. I'll go over some of the features here. One of the features is that when you power up the unit, it gives you how the status. So this is really the capacity of the unit. So you can see here we're at three bars. You know, I've been running a lot of stuff this afternoon on it, so I brought it down one notch. Um, I've done some testing, and it'll run two of these LED light bulbs for over four hours, no problem. So I would say one, you'll get eight plus hours or so if it has a full charge. Now I expect this to have an extra large capacity so that you would not have to run it all the way down to the bottom. My thought is that you run it down halfway, um, even 75% down, but leave a bottom bar, and that will make this last so much longer than if you fully discharge it all the time. So that's one of the reasons I chose this 15,000 uh, milliamp hour battery bank. The second reason, this particular battery bank has about the best reviews of any battery bank I could find online. So really well reviewed. It has a key feature for a solar application like this, and that is pass-through charging. It allows this to charge from the sunlight, from the solar, while you're charging another device. So you don't have to constantly be unplugging this and plugging this in. Trust me, I tested a lot of USB power banks, and many of them ha I had to actually unplug this, plug it back in to charge. It was completely unacceptable. So after doing lots of testing, going down a lot of different rabbit trails, I finally uh, settled on this particular Lime Fuel Blast power pack and I'm very, very happy with it. Now it does have another feature that's really cool. If you double click this, you get a flashlight. And it's a very functional flashlight. You know, you can take this, 
just hold it like this and take it with you or you can detach this. This is held on with 3M dual lock Velcro. So if you know anything about that particular Velcro, you know that it's incredibly uh, strong. It doesn't have the fuzz that a lot of the Velcros have, so that just creates a, a great way to attach this. Now earlier today I went out and did some low light testing with this panel. You'll want to watch that in this video clip because it's very impressive. Okay, so I brought this little 8 watt solar panel outside so I can show you the incredible low level light performance that this panel has. You know, it is not a sunny day out here by any stretch. And in fact, it is cloudy and there is no direct sun anywhere. But watch this, I've got the uh, fuel pack here. And as I bring it up toward the sky, you should see, yeah, there it goes. The green lights are on, and that is the charging indicator. And I can pretty much, standing here, circle all the way around and get enough light to do some charging with. And that is just incredible to me. So great low level lighting performance. You can see there where it says solar, that there's a little blue LED and that comes on through the USB solar charge controller there uh, anytime this has enough light to start charging. So I just was really impressed with this uh, low level uh, light because that's great. You know, if you've got this strapped on the back of your backpack or, you know, in the Ziploc waterproof bag on the side of a river raft or something, you want it to be able to pick up uh, ambient light and charge like that. Okay, so I want to do a test here, plugging a load directly into the solar voltage controller. On a sunny day, I plugged in my iPhone, and I could charge my iPhone directly off this 8-watt panel without even going through the power bank. In this case, I've plugged one of those LED light bulbs into the solar voltage controller directly in, and we're out here in this low-level light, and what I want to do is a test to see if the light bulb comes on, and if there's a... Look at that, folks. It starts coming on just as I point it barely up at the horizon. And this is not a sunny day guys there is no direct sunlight anywhere so you can see it just start to come on and then as I point up to the sky it comes on brighter that to me is just ultra impressive and it's the reason I chose to go with this particular uh, solar panel not only is it incredibly thin lightweight and flexible but it has excellent low-level light performance so I apologize about the black bars. Those are not showing up uh, here to my eyes. I bet there's a frequency of some sort coming from the solar voltage controller to the LED light bulb or some sort of frequency off the LED light bulb itself that's creating that problem. But anyway, you get the idea. There is real energy being harvested even in low level light conditions. So you're not just trickle charging this power bank even in low level light. You're pumping some real energy into the power bank and uh, just wanted to demonstrate that. So check out teslamaker.com. Like I said, by the time you see this video, they'll probably the first ones will probably be available at teslamaker.com. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. So I want to take the proceeds from the sales of these and really fund the larger Solon ones, as well as just provide the best camping uh, Solon 1.8 type unit that I could come up with. So the guys at Lime Fuel just did a great job on this particular power bank. And you know, with this being a rubber material on the outside of this. You can set this on your car. It's not going to scratch your car. So very happy with that. And there's one other uh, key feature that will probably be an upgrade to this. I don't plan on selling them with this feature initially anyway. But I'm going to get an airtight waterproof Ziploc bag, transparent, so that you can put this in there. Ziploc it, it'll probably have a, a connecting point for a carabiner. And you could take this on a river rafting trip. You can mount it right on the side of the raft. It would keep this dry, but it would let this charge through the day. And you could even put your iPad in there. You can see that the iPad fits right behind here. And you could have a device kept waterproof as well as charged. And then when you camp in the evening, you can detach, you can power your lights, uh, plug in your phones, whatever. So I think this little unit has a tremendous amount of potential and uh, just really excited to uh, show you this particular unit and uh, can't wait to hear about the ways people utilize these. You know, this is really the dream unit for myself when I go on a camping trip. So hope you all enjoy it and it's been a lot of fun uh, putting this little package together.